Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Food of the Arsenal. Today we're going to be doing a new series on the Depths with the campaign mode. And I have started a new campaign. This is actually my first campaign. Um, well not my first, but I thought I would start fresh because, you know, I, I just wanted to do a series on it. Really. So, first things first. We need to just show my microphone like that. Close. Okay. Okay, there you are. Fix my mic. I do apologize. So, the objective here is to basically take all the zones of this absolutely massive map. This is a giant map. Um, basically what you do is you go around and you take sectors and uh, you uh, declare war on the other factions and you build up your army to uh, effectively uh, you know be the um, be the um, you know the ultimate force on the seas really. So we start off with this little um, fortress here and we are in a resource zone which is nice which is nice there is availability of 400,000 materials or resource which is going to help us a lot it, it, will, it will it will help us so what I'm thinking of doing is if we go to here and we go to um, where is it? I believe just thirty thousand. If I construct that, that should allow me to uh, well, not never ever gonna do that. Okay. So if we construct our first ship, uh, construct. this so press a uh, press to construct and it will start to construct it uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. all distance it's 60 meters Wait, okay, okay. So it is now building. It's not upside down, is it? I don't think it is upside down. But what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this and this. Um, that is actually going to be a lot longer than I thought it would be. So if we move it to 100 meters, should be far enough away so it doesn't cause us any. Problems, but at the same time, you know, you never know, really. There you go. Right. Okay. So it is construction. That's good. That is good. And why will this not build? Is there a reason why? Hmm. 
Oh well. So I don't think no, it looks like it's not upside down. What did you get there? Very good thing actually. Material, material. What's material? So this is actually carry. I forgot how much material this thing actually carries. So that's where the turret sits, obviously. I don't know what turret it actually holds. But I have a feeling, because I made this ship a long time ago. I have a feeling this is most likely an advanced cannon. And if that's the case, I might just switch it out for a cram cannon, because cram is actually pretty good. Cram's not bad at all. So if I move it back to say uh, 80 meters, show how close that is now. It's a little bit closer. It could be closer than that, say 50 meters. There you go. See how close that is now. Oh, that's pretty close. So yeah, it is a pretty large ship, uh, but we are going to be able to construct it, which is nice. Hopefully, we will be able to construct it, shall I say. We might just get rid of this and just opt it out for uh, a, a, a cannon that I've already constructed, which I think is probably going to be better than this. So I sit in here. And resources, no materials. Okay, half, half. Okay. So it's now constructing that, so that's good. Oh, I do apologize, I just hit my mic, I do apologize for that. I haven't detected any enemies yet, which is a good, another good thing. That's where the engine sits, so that's a good thing. Well, another good thing, should I say. So, it's still constructing, come on. Camera. So technically, it should be able to float by itself. Naval, if you pull it to enter broadside at 700 meters, minimum range 700 meters. Maneuver, okay. Yeah. That works. So it's now constructing the cannon, which is cool. Cool thing, really. So it's constructed. Is it constructing the end? What, what engine does it run on? I think it's energy, isn't it? So the engine is at the front of the legs, right? Which isn't bad. Ooh, that's a bit of a bizarre looking cannon. When did I make this gun? I don't really know. Wait, is this a quad? Yeah, it definitely looks like. Oh yeah, it's a quad. It's a quad barrel. It's really 179? Really? Hmm. That's going to be a problem. Oh no, it is getting bigger. So no shells selected. Where do they have the shells? Oh, so what's the shell? Heavy head nose cone. <laughs> So where do they make the shells? 
Let's have a look. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Uh, how big is the... Good time. Can I... Deactivate, there you go. Oh my god, that's a... That's a quick one. Put that down to two. So it's only got. Oh no 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 no! Don't do that, you stupid AI! You. Oh, I'm gonna move you. No, don't. Just look at AI. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this out for a little bit more uh, firepower. So if I get rid of this, put that on, and then put that on, and then that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a local weapons controller. I'm going to put in um, yeah, probably the semi. Uh, no, not semi. The uh, what we'll talk about the uh, ninety-four millimeter gun. And I'm actually going to change how the shells are made. So this, I'm going to put, um, find that, oh heavy, oh I get it now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to make sure like this. Fifteen, uh, that'll be sixty five, right? Yeah, there you go. I'm going to go to here. Put fifteen and then sixty five. There you go. So now we do a test fire. Not bad. I have 430mm guns though, so... Like that. Copy. Paste. 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 Oh, there you go. Okay, so we've got a little bit more firepower. We do need a lab system. Uh, which is going to be a bit of a problem. Not too much of a problem, but. Okay, if we go to laser systems, lambs. If we put a lab down. That is a pretty tall system, really, when you think about it. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to put down like so. And do it like that, 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 and that. And we're going to move that up there. And we're going to do that, 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 and that. So that we know exactly when a shell is within range. To all. Okay, so that should protect us from any cram and possibly advanced cannons, but it depends on how fast they're going. Really. Uh, does it actually tell you how fast? Time to approach multiplayer type one. Um, angle below which to engage. Close full hemisphere. Oh, that's good. That's, that's cool. Right. Okay. So. What if I then take, what if I then move that, um, that, uh, is that, is that how you do it? So I'm going to make a broadside and ship. So I'm going to take simple weapons, if I make, uh, yeah, if I take that, if I take the 64 pounder gun, 64 pounder, is that like, um, 215 millimeter? It's a pretty big gun, though. Really. And then here, there, 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 Right, okay. This is perfect, it's all coming together. Which is really cool. Receiver Put all that. Right. That is perfect. Depends how far they turn. They don't turn that far, which is really surprising. That, that there, that there, that there, that there, that there, that there. That there. Okay. Well, should I make it a little bit more forwards? I'm not entirely sure now. I I really am not sure. Put that there. Do this.
baby. I mean, that would act as sort of armor, really. Duplicated pump. Duplicated pump. Wait, there's another pump in here? Oh. Hang on. This should act as, again, sort of like spaced armor or extra armor. So it doesn't pen as easily. Okay, there you go. That is negative, isn't it? That's negative as well. You put that to two point seven five to zero point seven five. There you go. And then we are effectively going to put up. Okay. And paste. Okay, that's pretty good. That should protect us, really. Right, okay. So now, if we actually stick a these on and we put paste. Make it so it's you know ten meters by the elevation like twenty. Okay, there you go. That works. It is probably going to eat through our energy quite quick, but hey, better than nothing, really, in my opinion. Ammo box.
Oh, it does use the energy from the. Um... Oh, that, that's cool. So it won't really run out of energy. That's pretty cool. That is that is pretty cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Why are holes? Wait, am I missing something here? Why on earth are there holes here? Wait, what is meant to go here? Oh, I don't know, I'll just board it up really. There you go. Okay. Hang on. Hang on, people. There you go. That was a bit weird. Invisible block there. Okay, so will we have the firepower to take on some things? Probably not, but hey. Nearby how much how many uh materials do you have? Six thousand. It's not really a lot, but hey. Can't do much about that. Okay, so if we put that there, take that. Where do we put? Are you serious? That there, and we're going to take this and we are going to make it so that it doesn't. Uh, hit anything. Okay, there you go. Okay, so we got a few more shells, uh, a few more guns, which should be enough to help protect us. But at the same time, it may not. We'll just have to wait and see, really. I mean, we could technically stuff on a few more guns, but it really does depend on how many more we can. Slap on really. So I don't want to slap on too many. Just in case if uh, something decides to go wrong. Five. Okay. That works. And this one. Uh, 85. Got it. There you go. So we do have a few more guns. Not sure how well that's going to help us out. It should help us out by quite a bit, actually. Technically, we could put another one down here, but eh, I don't want to. So now, select this and move you over to here. I really want to put a radar on this guy. I 
står og det Antenna Two, three, four, seven. Okay, uh, continuous spin. Uh, she give us a bit more. Oh, yeah, man. If I go back to the station here, I scroll all the way up, press B, built in. I want to build this. So we are, uh, so everybody's going at war now, which is interesting. War between Steel Strides, Striders and Lightning Hoods. Now, what I do know is that Lightning Hoods have warp technology, which is going to be annoying to deal with. <laughs> So that should give us a little bit of an insight into what we have to work against here. So, right about there. Okay. What on earth is my ship you can do? I don't know what my ship's doing, but hey. Here, look. Just a gain of start low and only increase it this way. I don't do that. If I turn off. Yeah, if if I leave them on, I'm not gonna mess around with anything. These shields should assist us. Ow. Now hopefully the first people we come across hopefully will be the deep war guard because they are reasonably easy to deal with if it's the onyx watch then they are also reasonably easy to deal with they are a little bit harder than the deep war guard but not that much so laser anti mutation defense so this is going to help us a lot this is going to shoot down missiles this is going to shoot down cram cannons this is going to shoot down everything it will not shoot anything that's in the water which will be a pain uh, we will have to put some sort of torpedo bulge you know so when torpedoes hit um, the plus side is that because this is made out of wood EMPs are going to do nothing to this thing because it's made out of wood EMP does not go through wood. So these 94mm guns or 3.7 inch guns should help us out. When I say should, I say that with a uh, 30, 30, 30 small bit. 
say, so where exactly are you? Are you ready? Ready to the middle. Here you are. That's good. That is very good. You yeah, can also, if you notice if my thing's a bit twitchy, uh, that's because uh, my mouse is a little bit skew with at the moment. Not really a bad thing, but still. So we got heavy head. Uh, should we put armor piercing instead? I feel like armor piercing would be better. Oh yeah, that'll be a lot better. Yes, 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 yes. So if I go here and I just press clear clips, no clear clips, clear clips. Clear clips. That should has to sustain fire. Learn these tune takes for sustain fire has four. Oh, okay, that's that's cool. So that actually tells you how much you need for sustained fire, which is awesome. So sometimes I, as soon as he, as soon as my uh, uh, patrol, uh, my coastal gunship gets there. Um, you know, can you really call it a coastal gunship? Make the barrels just a bit longer. Because somebody did say that the longer the barrel, the faster the shell fires, uh, flies. So I don't know how true that is, but still. Well, that actually, that... Wait, what, why does that have weight at the back? Oh yeah, it's also got those... Uh, I, I nearly forgot about these guns here. <laughs> it's got these. Which should help against uh, defense. Like, uh, uh, should help with um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, broadsides. So he's almost there. As soon as he enters that circle, I'm gonna press him to stop. Uh, stop back now. Okay. So he should be in there by now. Oh no, he needs to go a bit further in. Keep on going, 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 keep on going until we start capturing. Why is it not capturing? I think it is position is close to this room for the division. Well, there is nobody here. You can only capture enemy boards, borders adjusted to your own territory. Why am I not? Oh, it's, oh wait, hang on, it's because I'm not at war yet. Uh, if I go to war with the Deep War Guard. Can I start capturing yet? This is Deep Water Guard territory, right? It must be. What was it? Stop the computers now. So the Yonix Watch, we are allied with them. Uh, for some reason, you know, uh, you know, allied to the end. What's that? Lightning Hoods with the White Flares. It's not really going to help much. I really need this uh, capture point. Really, really need it. 
and we may need to go more with the deep, with the uh, uh, onyx swatch. But I'll wait until they activate it. So if I just oh gosh, if I send you back over to here. I mean, if anybody wants to pick a fight with me, then. Yeah, I have entered uh, Onyx Watch territory, which is going to be a problem. But hey, how much material do we have now? So we are gaining quite a bit. So they've got 12,000 materials so far. Okay. Uh, it looks like we're about to hit the island. I don't want to go too close to that island. Uh, la 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 That's annoying. What's this? Why is there Swedish flag? There? French flag? Spanish flag? Japanese flag? What? What? What is going on? Additional. Uh. Ah, uh, no. Uh. Okay, so we can't set up how deep we want this ship to go. So if we just if we just sail around this island, I don't want the AI to take over. That's why I'm constantly spamming the rudder buttons, so I don't want them to take control not yet right don't sail into the island just don't I do not need it Distance uh, adjustments. Oh, if you set this to negative, you'd be able to travel up on the shore. Uh, if I put that up to forty five. Right, okay, so you won't sail that close. Technically, I could build a defense gun there. Huh. But would I want to do that though? Don't know, really. I really don't know. Well, it's a bit unfortunate that we haven't had any action this um episode uh, we have built a battleship we haven't been able to take any territory yet because we are not at war with anyone at yet we are at war with the deep water guard but they don't own this territory and I believe it's the onyx watch that owns this territory which is so annoying Anyway guys, uh, I'll, uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video and this uh, episode. If you did enjoy this episode, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, give it a thumbs down. 
put in the comment section what you think we should name our fleet or you know because I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I'm having a feeling like it should have something empire I wanna make it like an empire like my last campaign I made it British Empire because you know I'm British and everything and you know I wanna make big big old battleships and all that um, but yeah put in the comment section the name that you guys would like uh, the the empire to be called and uh, hopefully I will catch you guys next time bye bye